You want to see what you're doing? We're going to give this generator a, some power and see if it produces electricity. Let's see if it runs first. Okay. This is Kayleen. She loves the sailing and is trying to convince me as well. Kira's not convinced, but Carl knows what's up. I lost both my feet, so obviously we called the boat Footloose. Welcome back to All About Spray. Our boat came with an installed generator. It only had a few hours on it, but it didn't seem to be running correctly. After using the boat for the summer, we decided that the generator wasn't really essential. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Especially if we were going to sail to Mexico, where solar would do. So we sold the generator to my parents for their boat, and used that money to buy a whole new solar setup. We're probably going to regret this, but for our budget, it makes the most sense right now. <laughs> yeah, we've been super lucky this whole summer, but uh, just recently we've had a rule that you, there's no traveling in the province at all, and you can't see anyone outside of your bubble, really, which, <laughs> yeah, you, which is your house, so we're masking up for this procedure. Can't see that? Yeah. Let's find out where the water line is. Get lower, lower. I think we may have a plugged intake. Nothing. No. Even, do you think that's too high right there, though? Down here? Yeah. Um, I don't know. No, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. That I think should be the water yeah. line there. It's not sucking. Yeah, I don't know. Like the pump's not actually pumping or something. Yeah. And yet the impeller, I mean, seemed to be okay. Well, day part two. Part, part day two. <laughs> <laughs> of generator removal. Yes, we're on the, the second day part day of removing Footloose's generator from uh, an installation that never really got used. And it's raining so hopefully it stops raining for when we want to actually lift it out. Is and my light on? Yeah. So let's see how it goes. Oh it is on. After a night of thinking about it we decided to go ahead with the uninstall and figured that the problem would present oh, itself it as we bucks. went. Day two and it was time to get serious. We basically ripped the whole aft cabin apart to get to all components of the generator. After the day of removing wiring, fuel connections, salt water connections, we were ready to lift the generator out. It wasn't super heavy, but a little bit awkward, so we used the boom to help control it as we moved it to the dock. Within a few weeks, my dad had the generator installed in their Famosa 51. He even had to do a few modifications to the floor to get it fitting in just right. If you'd like to see a tour of their boat, you can check it out in this video here.
Okay, the wind got to this before I had a chance to redo all the seams. More like I was kind of waiting for the <laughs> for it to break before I fixed it. Um, so I just got my mom's sail right machine and doing some fixing before another storm comes through and shreds this to pieces. It was a good thing I fixed the bimini because it turns out we had a little bit more wind coming our way. Major storms headed towards Vancouver, British Columbia on Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Uh, take a look at this map where we saw uh, category three hurricane force winds, 90 kilometers per hour plus heavy rain and those big waves. While I was stuck at work from the storm, Tyler spent the day making sure that the boat was okay and looking after the other boats in the marina as well. Our wind indicator wasn't working, classic, but our neighbors said that it was gusting up to 60 knots of wind. According to our marina manager, this was the biggest storm he'd seen since buying the marina over seven years ago. Unlucky for another boat down the marina though, when the wind was peaking, it ended up on the breakwater. We were grateful to be tied up to the dock and not at anchor. The next day, things cleared up and it was like it never happened. Oh, what am I editing this week? So we've just surpassed a thousand subscribers, which definitely has a lot to do with breaking wave sailing and those who came over from breaking waves. And we got to meet up with them last summer and they're now our really good friends. If you haven't seen that episode or haven't seen Ben and Allie yet, go check them out. So we're super excited for those of you who came and found us from there. Uh, see you in two weeks from now. Thanks so much for watching.